This is a quick video over the resting, resting potential. And before I really get into the resting potential, I want to explain that there are approximately 12 sodium channels and approximately 15 potassium channels. 15 different types of potassium channels and 12 different types of sodium channels. Normally I would be talking about this one and this one. And these are two unique potassium and sodium channels. They're just, they're just two of the 22 different types of sodium and potassium channels available. So I want to talk about a different type of potassium channel. I want to talk about one, one sodium channel that is always open and one potassium channel that is always open. So I will, this will be our new potassium channel that is always open, is absolutely always open. And then we'll have also a sodium channel and it is also always open. So sodium is always coming through here, making this side positive and this side negative. And potassium is going out making this side negative and this side positive. Now you would think they would cancel out except for there are there are I guess there are a hundred open potassium channels for every five open sodium channels of this type of this type. So there are I'd have to draw 20 more but I don't think I could draw 20 more. Actually draw that a little bit better but you would see that there are just a lot more of these. So this side would become more positive just, just due to the number of potassium channels or in comparison to this type of sodium channel. So if there are always these potassium and sodium channels opening, why isn't the concentration gradients depleted? Well, it's due to the sodium potassium pump, sodium potassium pump. And there are a lot more sodium potassium pumps than there are of these channels, a lot more. So these channels have a minor effect in comparison to the, in comparison to maybe these channels. There are a lot more, or there are many, many more of these than there are these. These are, there are, they are a few, a few of them in comparison to this. So what's the purpose of having these channels that are always open that just don't have that major of effect? Well, their primary purpose is to keep the voltage across the membrane at a negative, a negative 70 millivolts. That is their purpose, to keep it at a negative 70 millivolts. And that's why you don't need very many of them, because when the cell is at rest and now everything else is closed, you'll just need a few of them open to allow this negative 70 millivolt charge to build up. Now I said there are a lot more of these. Once these open, once these open, the comparison of these to that, these almost have no effect in comparison to this. This really has these, the number of these just have so much more of an effect than these. And I, I mean, I'm just trying to make that clear because there, it's just, there's so few of them, but you need that negative 70 millivolts. So why do you need that negative 70 millivolts? Well, remember when the when the voltage is greater um, greater than 55 a negative 55 millivolts, this channel opens. And if the if these type of these type of sodium channels start opening, you're most likely going to get an action potential. So that's the importance of the uh, of these channels. It's just to keep the um, voltage across the membrane at a negative 70 millivolts.